This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. I'm at the vicar's house. I'm here because last night, when I returned to the inn, I found my uncle dead, lying on the floor with a knife in his back. When Mr. Bassett arrived with his men, they found my aunt's body upstairs. She'd also been stabbed. The vicar suggested I stay with him. He came to the inn as soon as he read my note. He's not here. He left before I woke up. While I've been waiting for him, I've been thinking about who the killer could be. Mr. Bassett asked me if I had an idea who it was. I told him I didn't. But that's not true. I remember how Jem told me that he hated his brother. So, they'll catch and hang him. Or else he'll ride away, laughing at me. Either way, I know that I love him. Strange how this room is so empty. No books. No paintings. Not like the vicar's house in Halford where I lived with my mother. His living room had pictures of smiling angels and village scenes and piles of books on the desk. There's nothing on this desk. I know. I'll write and ask if I can stay with him. Now, where is a pen and paper? Ah, in this drawer, perhaps. That's odd. Nothing in the drawer. Wait, there is a piece of paper. Oh, but it's already got something on it. A picture by the vicar. His initials are there. What a strange picture. It makes me shiver. It's the village church with the vicar and his congregation. But all the people have got sheep's heads and look stupid. The vicar is drawn himself as a wolf, but not an ordinary wolf. A laughing wolf. What does it mean? Oh no, he's back. Quick! I shut the drawer quickly and sit by the fire. I'm shaking. Uh, oh, vicar! Did I startle you? I'm sorry I was so long. My horse was lame. You must be hungry. I find it difficult to speak. The picture has shocked me. The vicar asked me to get the food from the kitchen. When I return, there are papers all over the desk. He's been burning letters. Don't you want to know what I've been doing today? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I haven't thanked you for your kindness last night. If you hadn't taken me in, I wouldn't have had anywhere to stay. Well, I've been to North Hill. Mr Bassett invited me and others to discuss the murder. Does Mr Bassett suspect anyone? They found the man, Harry. He can't be the murderer, though. He would have been a suspect if he hadn't been locked up in the room by the bar for the last few days. But he said that someone else gave your uncle orders. Well, this person must be the murderer. Don't you agree? Well, er, uh, yes, I, I suppose. It can't be one of the men. Well, this person is clever. He must have come to the inn. And he knows the moor well. He probably lives nearby. Did anyone like this come to the inn? Er, uh, no. Uh, uh, I can't think. Why do you look so anxious, Mary? But I forgot. I saw a friend of yours today at North Hill. Uh, I have no friends except you. But you told me you went to Launston with your uncle's brother. I froze. 
I didn't know what to say. He gave me a message for you. Tell her that I'm sorry. I... Jem was at North Hill. Why? Well, he's the dead man's brother. He wasn't upset, though. Was Mr Bassett asking him questions? They've been talking all day. He's got brains. More than his brother. You told me he lives nearby and steals horses. I can't look at him, but I feel his eyes study my face. He knows the truth. What will they do to him, Mr Davy? Do? What do you mean? I'm sure he won't be punished, since he's helped them. Helped? I don't understand. Mary, it was Jem who informed Mr Bassett about his own brother. They left Launston together after the horse market. Mr Bassett told him he could go free if he gave them proof about his brother. And he did. I, I can't believe it. I was so sure. Oh, Vicar, I'm such a fool. Where is Jem now? He's gone to find the blacksmith. He found a nail in the field by the inn. It must belong to the killer's horse. Only one person went to the blacksmith yesterday. How do you know? Because I know who that person was. His strange eyes are staring at me. I can't breathe. He knows who the murderer is. Meet me in the next episode when I finally discover the shocking truth about who killed my aunt and uncle at Jamaica Inn. I am also in danger, but who will come to my rescue?